What's good, my people? This is JPL Dragon coming at you with another one. Uh, this time I wanted to talk about the recap of the uh, Canelo GGG uh, 3 fight. Uh, it was a good fight. I've seen a lot of people saying that uh, the fight was lackluster, it was bad. Um, I personally enjoyed the fight. Uh, I knew coming in that GGG uh, wasn't going to be exactly the same fighter he was when he last fought Canelo. I think that was probably the best. He, he the last best of GGG was on that second fight with Canelo. So uh, after that, we saw what happened with his fights. After that, Derichenko, uh, Murata, he didn't look exactly the way that GGG always looked before. So coming in, I knew that he wasn't exactly gonna be one hundred percent. But I knew that GGG is a special fighter. I know that he has a chin. I know he is going to uh, be powerful. But he, his reflexes and speed were going to be a little bit uh, behind. And that's exactly what happened. You know, uh, for the first six rounds, uh, Canelo came strong. He was throwing bombs. And uh, I think GGG was, you know, a little, uh, uh, I wouldn't say afraid, but, uh, you know, cautious that uh, he would get caught with a big shot. So he wasn't really throwing much. And he was just jabbing and jabbing and not really throwing the right hand, not doing anything for the six rounds, first six rounds. So Canelo took advantage of that, obviously, uh, because of the age also. And uh, after that, uh, around eighth, ninth round, Canelo got tired, and GGG started coming on strong. Um, normally, that's what uh, Golovkin does. He uh, starts kind of slow, and then on the later rounds, he will start putting on the pressure. And I think since he's a little bit older, he didn't catch up to doing that until the later rounds. And he would have started a little bit earlier uh, years ago, but now he started a little too late and uh, started putting some good pressure in Canelo. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on with Canelo's uh, stamina when it comes to the eighth and ninth round after that. He has good stamina for the first eight, ninth round. And then after that, it's pretty much uh, tired, starts boxing. And you can see his, uh, it's, it's a big decline on his stamina. So I'm not sure what's happening. He did say on the uh, post-fight conference that his hand was broken. Or not broken. He said that he had a cartilage, something. Something is wrong with his hand. He needs surgery. And uh, he also said something went wrong in his camp. I'm not sure what happened. He didn't exactly go into details. But uh, I feel like, uh, not an excuse, but I, I think it's not really the reason for him not performing the way he does. Uh, I mean, I think he performed the way he always does, and he gets tired after the uh, eighth, ninth round. So it's nothing new, and I don't think the hand injury had anything to do with that. So uh, I'm not sure. I think uh, he has to look more into that because uh, any boxer that he fights that starts uh, strong early and he has to fight, you know, for those rounds. And if one of, any of these boxers pulls out some of those uh, early rounds and then he gets tired in the eighth, ninth round, Canelo does, the other boxer has a good chance of pulling out the later rounds too and get a good decision over him. So he has to look into that carefully but uh he did say he was gonna take his time uh he doesn't look like he's in a rush he really wants to i guess give his body some time and obviously go through that surgery and after he comes out of that surgery uh you know i guess just think about what he wants to do next i'm not sure if he's gonna go after bivo after uh, what happens with sordo and him sordo and bivo are gonna fight so whatever happens between them two depending on the outcome if uh, Bivol wins, then Canelo might go for the uh, rematch. And if uh, Sordo wins, then I'm not sure what Canelo's going to do because he doesn't want to fight Sordo since he said he doesn't want to fight Mexican fighters. So uh, that's pretty much what happened uh, What happened between uh, Canelo and Triple G. And uh, yeah, so that's about that. Now, the next thing I wanted to talk about was uh, Terrence Crawford versus uh Errol Spence Jr. It seems like uh things have been going so far well. They agreed to the terms. So now uh they got to sign the papers. It seems like Terence already signed his side of the papers and uh now it's up to Errol to sign his side. Uh I've been looking 
about this fight. I've been waiting for this fight for years. So I am super, super happy that this is going to finally happen. And if it does, boys, we in for a treat. We're going to see history before our eyes if it's if it comes down to what I think it should be. So uh, I'm not sure who's going to win yet. Uh, I'm, I'm going back and forth between the two guys. Um, but I will, I will give my prediction, uh, soon enough when that happens and we get more into it, but, uh, let's see what happens, man. I can't wait for that fight. Who you guys got? I want to know what you guys think, who you guys got. Uh, 